This video covers the basic concepts behind position versus time graphs. Here's what a position versus time graph would look like. Time is on the x-axis and position is on the y-axis. Let's say that our graph looks something like this. This graph can actually tell us quite a few things. We know the position of an object at any given time, and since we know position and times, we can calculate the average velocity. So let's do an example. We want to know the object's average velocity over the time 2 to 7 seconds. We have our average velocity equation, which we then can expand because we know that the delta symbol always means final minus initial. We are looking at the time frame from 2 to 7 seconds, so we know that the final time is 7 and the initial time is equal to 2. Let's look to see what position the object that is at at time equals 7. To do this, we simply look at our graph and we see that at time equals 7, we have a position of 4. So we can fill in that value. Next, we have to find the position of the object at time equals 2. So we do the same exact thing analyzing the graph and we find that the position is 2. So we can then simplify this average velocity equation and we find that the average velocity is equal to 0 0.4 meters per second. Let's do another example. We want to find the object's average velocity from 4 to 6 seconds. So we have, once again, our average velocity equation, and we do the exact same concept of looking at the graph to find the positions at the given times. So let's look at our graph. At time equals 6, we see that the object has a position of 5, and that the time equals 4, we see that it has a position of 3. Doing this math, we find that the average velocity is equal to 1 meter per second. There's one thing that you may have noticed. The slope of the straight line from time of 4 seconds to 6 seconds is also 1. This is because the slope of a position versus time graph is always equal to the average velocity. Let's look at this a little more closely. From a previous math class, you may have learned that the slope of a line is always equal to rise over run. Whenever we discuss rise, we are actually talking about the change in the y-axis, and when we talk about run, we're actually talking about change in the x-axis. On our position versus time graph, the position is on the y-axis, and time is on the x-axis. And if we simplify this further, our change in position is really just our displacement, and our change in time is equal to delta t. Now we're left with the equation delta x over delta t, which may look familiar and it is actually the average velocity equation.